Hey guys, welcome back. Renee here. So today my son came home from school and was like, hey mom, I would really like to go and get my teachers like just a little something for each of them. He has seven different teachers. So I was like, okay. I was like, I don't mind, but let's figure out something we could do. So we went to the Dollar Tree, you guys. And I mean, it's a thought that counts and there's seven teachers. So I told my son, I said we could put together little baskets or whatnot and he was super excited about it. So my son picked um, all of the items for the basket except for I did add like a coffee mug to each one of their baskets. But other than that, he picked everything for them. And so I wanna show you what he is giving his teachers, all seven of them. Um, six of them are all girls. And so he's giving them all basically the exact same thing. Um, his seventh teacher is a male and it's his music teacher. And so his basket is gonna be slightly different from the other ones, but um, he, I guess, has a really good rapport with that teacher and they kinda, um, it's his music teacher, so they have, um, like a really good rapport and they like to joke around a lot and stuff like that. So there's kind of some funny gifts for that, like little tinker toys and stuff. Let me go ahead and jump right into this. So, um, the first thing, the, the thing that I added to the baskets just because I wanted to get them was I, um, got these, let me see, I have a, Another, let me turn on another light, you guys. It's kind of dark. Did that make a difference a little bit? Not really, but here I am. Okay, so I got these mugs for them, and they're in like a little gift box. And this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Super cute little... And we did get different ones, but some of them were repeats, obviously. I picked out the Let It Snow one with the snowman on it. We got the Merry Christmas one with the trees. <coughs> Here's another snowman one. And I'm not exactly sure. There they are. I'm like, I'm not exactly sure where the other mugs went. Here's another Merry Christmas one with the tree. So that's five. There's this one. So I thought this one was super pretty. So there's six. We're still missing one, but I'm sure I'll come across it here. There it is. And then another tree one. This is probably my favorite one. So I think I grabbed like three of those ones. So each teacher getting a coffee mug for Christmas. So the rest of this my son picked out and we did decide to go ahead and do um, gift bags instead of like baskets or something because my son has to carry all these and I figured with the handles, it'd be a little bit easier for him to carry. So I went ahead, you know, Dollar Tree and their gift bags. I got this medium sized gift bag that comes two to a pack for a dollar. And so this one has like Santa Claus on this one. You guys know how I feel about these ones. I love them. And then it, this bag has like the reindeer in on the side of them. They are like the plaid, which I think is super, super nice. And I believe all of them are pretty much the same. They have the plaid on the side, but that was, and then of course my son liked the little bit funner, more cartoon ones. This one says, ho, ho, ho. And this one has Santa Claus on it. And, um, both of these have like the candy cane stripes on the side and they're super glittery and fun. Emma, go away, babe. And then of course he liked um, this one, 
which I, that's kind of cute too, the deer and the tree. And then on the other side, it's Santa Claus. And the sides of these actually like match the bag. So like this one has the tree and this one's just like the night sky. And the last set he got was Santa Claus says ho, ho, ho. And then the penguins. And these both are basically a continuation of the bag on the side. So those are the bags that he grabbed. And then he... My son has like the sweetest little soul in the world and I absolutely love that about him. And his teachers always email me and say that like he has like the kindest heart in the, so, um, and I guess they tell him that too. So he went ahead and he got each one of his teachers a little teddy bear. And so we've got seven of those little guys. And they came in different colors, like this is like the yellowy one, this one's brown, and this one's like a uh, in-between caramel color, so. But he got seven of those for his teachers. And then he also wanted to get them each a box of chocolates. And so we picked up seven of these boxes of chocolates, which I like these because it's actually a fairly good size box for a dollar. And um, they have like the caramel chocolates, the strawberry cream, the orange cream, the cocoa truffle, and then the dark chocolate with caramel. So they have like the variety, and I guess that's a pretty basic variety. It doesn't have any of the crazy flavors in it. So we went ahead and Got seven of those. And then <clears throat> there was one of these bears left. And I thought that he was super adorable. And my son actually kind of got a little sad. He's like, oh my gosh, there's only one of them left sitting there. And so I just got him for... Purposes of him not being the last lonely bear at Dollar Tree because... Like I said, my son has a soft heart, and so he didn't want him to be left alone. <clears throat> then we went ahead and got each one of the teachers a dry erase eraser. So that they have those. And then we picked up a pack of um, the dry erase markers for each one of his teachers. And I know for some people this may seem kind of lame, but I don't know how your school system works. I'm just gonna sit here and dig these out while I tell you. I don't know why your school, how your school systems work or whatever the case may be, but <clears throat> here the teachers have to buy like their own supplies for their classroom. So like the school doesn't do that. So. Like if they run out of like dry erase markers or they run out of like their eraser breaks or like their pencils, their pins, their all of that, like the school doesn't supply it. It comes out of the teacher's salary. And in my opinion, teachers don't get paid enough for what they do anyways. So if I can help them out a little bit, I do. So the next thing that we also got was we got each one of his teachers a whiteout pin and we got each one of his teachers a four pack of sticky notes. Some more whiteout pins here, because I remember I gotta do everything times seven, you guys, so. And then, oh. We'll just, we'll just keep going, guys. And then he wanted to get each one of his female teachers because he knows how much I love baths and he loves baths and, and stuff. He wanted to get each one of his female teachers one of the Treat Me bath bombs. 
um, so that it's not just stuff that they use like at school. They have something like to take home with them and be like, oh, this student, you know, got me this. So he got all seven different ones and I'll show them to you as we go. These are two of them. Okay. Some more markers. And then he got the mermaid tail, the unicorn, another dry erase. Kind of going to be repetitive for a second, guys. Sorry. Um, here's the cupcake one. The pineapple one. Some more sticky notes. <laughs> wide out okay and then I guess the other day he wore a brand new pair of high tops to school and he wore low socks with them and the back of the high top was um, like rubbing on his ankle and so I guess like he wrapped the back of his shoe in scotch tape to fix the problem could have just asked for a band-aid but you know whatever it's whatever works i guess he used an entire roll of scotch tape in his teacher's classroom so he wanted to replace her scotch tape that he used and so he got that for her which i thought that's a sweet gesture actually and then for his music teacher he wanted to get some of these like nautical little toy gifts um and kind of challenge his teacher to play them this is the male teacher and um, I guess like he's an outstanding music teacher and my son is very, very, very um, like inspired by this teacher. And so he's gonna challenge him to make music on these little Dollar Tree toys for the class. So he got those and then he got little, I don't even know what these are. They're party favors, but little horns of some sort he got harmonicas and there was one more I don't know where it's at this is the last bag maybe Sean put it back I don't know and then I guess the music teacher also is the kids are always stealing his pencils for class and so we went ahead and grabbed him a couple packs of pencils to have in his classroom and we wanted them to be fun colors so we did that and then something new at Dollar Tree the Andes Mints, we all know that I love them, but they came out with Andes Cherry Jubilee Mints. So we're gonna give, it's Cherry Jubilee Thins, it doesn't say it's a mint. So I'm wondering if these are kinda like Cardinal Cherry tasting, I don't know. But, you guys wanna try it right now? I will. Taste testing doesn't scare me on camera, except for that it's, I'm not an attractive eater, but. Okay. I'm trying to think of that candy when I was a kid. Because that's what it tastes like. They're in white wrappers with red letters on them. And they're cherry. It's got chocolate on the outside. There's some cherry like something inside. I forget what they're called. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end. I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to remember what it is. But. Comment down below if you know the candy that I'm talking about and what it's called. It's in a white wrapper with red letters on it. And it's chocolate with cherry. That's what these taste like. Pretty decent. A little bit more chocolate flavor than you get the cherry. The cherry is kind of like an afterthought. I like at the end. But decent. I like it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have the merriest Christmas and a happy new year, and we will see you guys real soon. Take care, guys. Bye.